Hello, welcome to my studio. My name's Chris. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a couple new brushes that I just purchased. I'm really excited to try these out. They are the Princeton Aqua Elite. This is a number 20 round. It's a pretty large brush. I'm going to talk about the qualities of the Princeton Aqua Elite, what I'm excited about about this uh, high-end watercolor brush, and um, why I'm deciding to use these in my studio. So stay tuned. Here we go. In this video, I'm going to highlight two brushes that I have in my studio, both Princeton Aqua Elite, number 20, as I mentioned, and this number 12. Let's talk about the Princeton Aqua Elite series for a second. It's, it's numbered the 4850 series, and it is considered the top-of-the-line Princeton watercolor brush. It is made to mimic a Kalinske sable, however, it is completely synthetic. They call it their next-gen synthetic fibers, which mimic the Kalinske Sable brushes. They have a very fine point, as you can see here. They hold a lot of water, and uh, they have a little bit of stiffness to them. If you watch some of my other videos, you'll see that I've also used in the past uh, a variety of brushes that are either real or synthetic squirrel hair, and they tend to be black in color. Now, the squirrel hair, whether it's synthetic or real, is going to be much softer, and it doesn't tend to create a point in quite the same way. But the Kalinske Sable is considered the top of the line brush, and these mimic that kind of brush. And again, one of the most distinctive qualities is the fine point. First thing you need to do is wet the brush and remove the sizing. Whenever you purchase a brand new brush and bring it home, it's going to have uh, sizing in the bristles, and that keeps and protects them during transport. All right, I've mixed up a little bit of color here on my palette. I've got quinacridone lilac and French ultramarine, both Daniel Smith, Smith colors. And I'm just gonna see how it lays down the color again. Uh, very fine point. Uh, even though this is a number 20 round, which is a very large brush, you can see here, I can create a very fine line and then with applying pressure, create quite a large stroke back into a very fine line and almost like a liner, almost like a script. Oh man, this is amazing. And then again, we're gonna, you know, see how long we can, uh, excuse my hand in the shot there. And just, uh, again, it's gonna hold a lot of water. So it's, we can probably just go on like this for a very long time. And we've still got water in the brush and we can still get to a really fine line. Now with the French Ultramarine, same technique, we can again just see uh, fine lines as well as really broad strokes, lots of water in the body of the brush. Here's some nickel quinacridone gold, again with a real fine point. It's amazing, with a number 20 round, that you can create such fine lines. Okay, the best way to test any brush, of course, is to paint with it. So I've decided I'm gonna take some of my uh, quinacridone lilac here. Let's just paint some roses. Here I'm taking a nice, uh, fairly thick application of my lilac and just laying that down there and then moving outward. Start with the center of the rose. Again, I'm really interested in how this uh, Aqua Elite brush performs. This is the number 12, and um, I can do a combination of nice, delicate marks with the tip of the brush, but then lay the brush down on its side like this, get some nice wash and gradation, and um, again, cleaning off my brush a bit, coming back and just uh, touching up against edge of some of these colors. I'm just going to get some runs. Let's try another. Even this number 12 holds a fair bit of water. Lots of fun just making a bunch of marks with these brand new brushes. Now here's the real test. 
Let's take the uh, Princeton Aqua Elite 20 round, number 20 round. A lot of people would be hesitant to pick up a number 20 to paint a delicate rose. But let's see what we can do here. Again, fine tip, packed with a lot of pigment and water. Same techniques. If I can get that real fine tip. Kalinsky sable kind of action, a lot of control, somewhat of a firm uh, set of bristles, not super soft like the squirrel, but still with enough give that I can, um, yeah, create some real Beautiful washes there. That's fun. That's great. All right. And again, there you go. There's painting a delicate rose with a number 20 round Princeton Aqua Elite. Let's do it again. This is fun. Great for wanting to create both hard edges, which I just have done with a wet on dry application, but now coming back with a just a brush full of water here and uh, touching up against some of these areas where I already put down the paint so I can draw out, blend the colors. Loving it, loving it, loving it. You can see this is a, a fairly simple technique. And even though I'm doing some real fine uh, brush work, I, I'm able to do it with a pretty large brush because of the fine point. I've been hearing about the advances being made in synthetic fibers in watercolor brushes, especially in this Princeton Aqua Elite series, so I decided to give it a try. I hope you have found this helpful, and if so, possibly subscribe to my channel. I put out a video like this covering watercolor supplies, techniques, tips, and tutorials about once a week. Thanks for watching. See you next time.